jigsaw is a combination of rescue helicopters and rescue craft and also cover from the beach. All the pieces of the jigsaw will make the ultimate rescue package and our helicopter is part of that. All the jigsaw crews are very experienced. It's a way of life for us and we like to think we're very professional in the way we go about it. Safety is at the forefront of our operations. Training is the utmost importance of the job that we do. We meet the requirements, but I think we exceed them. Whenever we get a call, I'm the first one to try and get suited up, get my helmet, boots, everything ready, get out to the aircraft, start it up, and wait for the rest of the crew to join me and get off to wherever we need to go. We have a team of four on Jigsaw, captain, co-pilot, winch operator and a winchman. At bottom, the paramedic winchman is no different to a paramedic within the ambulance service, except our ambulance is a helicopter, and our mode of access in our emergency is sometimes via a winch wire. We practice on a regular basis so that um, joined up thinking comes together when we need it most. When you're in a hover at the back of a boat at night in terrible weather conditions, you're very focused. There isn't time for emotion really to get in the way of it. It's been practiced and rehearsed over and over and over again and everybody knows what they're doing and it becomes a very, very slick, very efficient operation. The aircraft we fly is the Super Puma L2. It's still one of the most advanced rescue aircraft in the world. We are looking to carry 21 people in a rescue situation. That's what we've trained for. It has a big search capability with a FLIR pod, which can search in day and night conditions. The winds can be quite high, the cloud can be low. You can have a lot of rain, a lot of icing conditions in the winter as well. This aircraft's more than capable of dealing with it. Most of the jobs we respond to are, are transporting people from rigs uh, to the hospital with uh, heart attacks, chest pains uh, or other injuries. Less frequent would be maybe searching for a missing fisherman. As paramedics working for Bond with our clinical lead, we're obviously at the forefront of new techniques, new drugs and new equipment. I think we've been very progressive in the way that we're going forward. I'm pretty certain that the models we're designing for North Sea SAR with the aid of Bund, will become world-class, world-leading models and professionalism provided by both the front crews in the SAR helicopters and the rear crews is more than could be expected from any organisation. The level of care is outstanding. Work together, train together, operate together and of course you have to be able to trust each other because during some of the rescue situations we do find ourselves in, it's the teamwork that counts. It's a great experience and a great honour to actually fly in the bomb helicopters and provide 24-hour service to the North Sea industry.